Um, please go ahead. Yes, sir, thank you, Mr. Chairman. And this one is a commercial use permit request uh, by Scott Schalick. Um, this is also for a personal service shop um, in our cuisine but in the city of Valdosta. Um, it is part of a complex that is mostly professional offices, mostly medical related. Um, this one is for an education flavor of the personal service shop variety. As described there in your packet, as an existing business at some point that is wanting to relocate. Um, they offer a variety of related services together as one complex, um, more of the medical angle, um, which fits in very nicely with this existing complex, which quite put the theme in the middle. Um, as you see on the zoning map on the screen and in your packet, you see the RP of the complex OP zoning existing to the north along North Oak Street. Um, and then Valdosta Middle School is that R15 property across the street. Um, interestingly, this more functions as an OP type of complex than it does RP. RP, as you know, has a residential component in addition to the office component. There are no residences here, although there is a residential complex in the back on the, on the Oak Center part of the property. If this were zoned OP, we wouldn't be having the conversation. So it fits in very nicely with what's there. Character area also matches the zoning pattern, which is neighborhood activity center. The aerial image, you get a little closer view. Um, this is the building directly behind the existing Hogan's Pharmacy. That's really your benchmark if you're trying to find this particular building. Um, directly behind and slightly off to the side. Site sketch in your packet zooms in with a little more clarity as to exactly where this is. Um, the view from the front, um, next to Hogan's, you see the Hogan's entrance. Um, subject property is the white building that you see directly behind, um, and that's their main entrance area. Uh, other views of the uh, south side of the building, with the sidewalk, is this. And then on the north side, you see where they're starting some of their renovation work already. And adjacent properties, back where that building is in that rear parking lot. Um, it's a nice quiet parking lot under the trees with some other professional office buildings around it. Um, and a little bit of parking and plenty of extra spaces there to spare. Um, so with this one, staff has found it consistent with the conditional use review criteria for Valdosta, as well as the comprehensive plan. And we'll recommend approval of the CUP with two conditions. The first one is approval shall be granted for a personal services shop in RP in the name of applicant or no filter club only, as a multi-tenant office that provides medical-related hair care or skin care services, which may include medical clinicians, estheticians, wellness counseling, or similar related services as described in the letter of intent. And again, this also corresponds with the East Table for the City of Alaska, where we differentiate different categories of personal service shops, and a copy of that is there in your packet. Number two, conditional use approval shall expire after two years from the date of approval if no business license for any of these approved uses have been requested by that date. So again, it's a multi-tenant type facility, mostly medical related, but all under that same umbrella. We're glad to answer any questions you may have. Thank you, Matt. Commissioners, any questions for staff in this case? I will therefore open the public hearing portion of this case. Is there anyone here this evening that would like to speak in favor of this case? If so please come forward. State your name and address for the record. I know you did a sign-in sheet. So. Scott Chalick, 5650 Griffin Drive, Ahara. Yes, sir. Uh, I am uh, owner of JNS Investing, and <coughs> in my wife, Brian, my wife is the esthetician running No Filter Club. Uh, currently, they're located next to Friends. Uh, and right by Lemongrass, and that's a rental property. We bought this property in July 23 uh, with the goal of using it as her business place to get out from a rental or have something that we own. Um, we did a remodel on it, um, put a decent amount of money into it before we ran into this issue. We didn't know about the RP zoning until we went to do the licensing. Um, so. I didn't know it was going to be a thing because of all the other offices there. It seemed to be in the general uh, line of, of medical practitioning. And as an esthetician, you have to be a certified um, and licensed individual to do that. So, but here we are. And uh, request approval for the uh, initial release. Any 
any questions for Mr. Taylor? Thank you, sir. Thank you. Is there anyone else that would like to speak in favor of this case? If so, please come forward. Is there anyone here this evening that would like to speak against this case? Anyone here this evening that would like to speak against this case? If so, please come forward. Seeing no one, that will close the public hearing portion of this case. Commissioners, any other statements or questions? Given that, I will seek a motion. Mr. Chairman. Yes, sir. Uh, item number CU2024-03. Uh, recommend approval with the uh, two uh, filing conditions. One and two as is read by Mr. Matt. All right. Thank you, sir. We have a recommendation, a motion to recommend approval by Commissioner Bythewood. Is there a second? A second. And a second by Commissioner Wiles. All those in favor of the motion to recommend approval? Thank you. All right, Mr.